All right. Today, November the 3rd, I believe it is, enjoying the 60-something degree weather here in Kentucky, but we're out for a ride on the e-bikes. We're for the motorcycle, but we're testing the e-bikes right now and camera setup and mic. I guess I've been talking over you, haven't I? I don't know. I guess you have. The microphones are hot. Have you been talking? It just started. <laughs> I just basically said, you know, we're out trying the e-bikes on the new camera setup. <laughs> oh, God, goodness. Until we get us some headsets, we're not going to know who's talking when. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, this is probably a good time since we're side by side here to talk about the Polyland and the microphones. What do you think about them so far? I like them. They, uh, yeah, they're they're a game changer. Honestly, it beats the it beats the little cheap ones we've played around with, right? Repel the mic. plug into the phones, yeah. the plug into the camera. The problem with those cheap ones is battery life, honestly. Yeah. So since these have the 22-hour battery life, you should be able to go all day with these and not have to worry about charging them. Of course, the charging case, the case they go into, you right. insert a picture here, whatever in the video, that. It recharges, I think, up to three times. So a weekend of riding would be no, no, no brainer. But the part I like about them is the built-in audio recording. Right. The 14-hour standalone audio recording they can do. And they record independently. You don't have to have video. Correct. Right. And they don't have a camera to show the signal strength on the meter, but I was going to say I could ride out in front of you so you could show we could show how distance-wise they've got. Well, right now I got it locked. What's that? I'd, I'd rather do it when we got our sun to the back, or back to the sun, because I can't see it, the screen right now. Right. Okay. The screen goes dim, which is good, and I also learned to lock the screen, which is also very good, because you get into a, a pairing issue if you're not careful. It does add weight to the GoPro. But not, but it's really negligible. Well, because you got the GoPro mount. I mean. Yeah, as long as you can find a nice sturdy mount, which I'm thinking, knocking on wood, I think I found one. And um, had one, just had to repurpose it. Yeah, as I say, I had it for something else that didn't work and just kept it because it was so cheap, no need to return it. But the expense of these Hollyland mics, this is the Lark Max is what we're working with. And the expense of it, if you're worried about audio recording with a GoPro or anything else, like I said, the beauty is they had the built-in audio recording themselves you can turn on. Right. So you don't have to worry about losing the audio like a lot of YouTubers do. Right. With their GoPro cameras, it's just and I don't know if the DJI mic does it. It might do it. Maybe maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But this one I know does. It's, they've just been great. Oh, it's a little chilly. Wait till we're down here at the bottom where it's always a little chill, colder. It's gonna be a big difference whenever this finally gets built up down here. Yeah. But these have the, lava, the external lavalier mic too, so not only these are little clip-on modules like everybody else does, but it's got the eighth-inch jack for the external microphones that we can put in our helmets. Yeah, I need to try to get it to work on my DSLR camera too. Yeah, I think it will too, that, and that'd be help as well if it works with the DSLR. Looks like somebody... Holly, Lane, Holly Lane makes professional great I guess or so they say I'm not really doing a lot of research on them but uh, a lot of other YouTubers are using their headsets for audio communications and they're supposed to be professional used for movies etc I got inside the line yeah I know I went over the line I did my u-turn I lost my concentration because I looked up all right let me take us let me stop right here because I can see the camera now I'm blocking the sun so I'm gonna go down through here Ready? All right, I'm videoing using the phone. I don't know how I'm going to signal you. Can you hear my bell? Well, if you're videoing that or just holler, you'll see. You'll see okay, when it I'll drops. Okay, I'll scream at you. <laughs> you'll see when it drops. Yeah, I'll see it. So now I'm just so, riding down through here. Insert another video here. You see how far he is away right now. I'm sitting stationary. And we're looking at signal. He's on mic two. And lost him. He is. About that far away. 
Still good? No signal. So it dropped? So, oh, wait a minute, we got two bars. We got two bars, keep going. It, caught, it got connection again. Now we're down to the one bar. So it's bouncing between two and one bar with him that so far away. So this is away. definitely distance-wise for motorcycles without problem. And it's hard to measure the distance without getting some sort of measuring tape out here. But you can watch the connections right beside the number two icon. As it gets closer, it gets bigger. So did that drop? Well, essentially what happened, I think that video worked out good. What happened is you dropped, uh -huh. and then when you turned around, it jumped back in and connected. So my, so I'm blocking the transmission is where it's positioned. I guess. But it was it was one and then two bars. Okay. So, and yeah, you're number two now. Now um, I know which one you were. Yeah, that'll change. I, I made the U-turn again without hitting the line. Always practicing the turn box. Yeah, well, I messed up because I looked up, so. And so I don't know how to measure the distance without getting some sort of measuring tape out here well, to confirm the distance. I've I, got mean, my, I guess we could get my little range finder out and use it. Yeah, we could. The, the other way I said of doing it is, you know, put a flag here and a flag there, and then we know where we can measure between the two. Right. But, I mean... Essentially, that first curve or second curve there is where. And again, I that's lost it. and that's and what's great about that again is that's well within the distances that we use on the motorcycle. Right, it will definitely work on the motorcycle because of the distance. And, that, right. and that's again, that's where the problem we've had with those cheap ones that plug in the thirty. And I'm talking about the thirty, forty, fifty dollar units, right? Sub hundred dollar right. microphones is they're great when you're sitting next to each other like this. Right. But when you start getting the distance, if more than fifteen feet, they you lose signal. And you also got the wind to deal with. These so Correct. far, we don't even have the wind sock. No, these have been great without the wind sock, yeah, haven't they? Even All right, so our next experiment, I guess, we'll just ride and. Finally, turn the see noise. If that, see if that listens. See if that came on. Yeah, see if the noise cancellation helps at all. With yeah. That. Oh, you have to put the noise cancellation on the mic itself. Yeah, on the mic itself, okay. you have to turn it on. Okay, so I'll turn that on. And I'll get mine too. I don't know how to tell if it's on. I think. Oh, okay. It's got a little indicator. It comes up on the the uh, screen when you turn it on. Oh, I turned it on. You turned it off. So it looks like you can turn it on. Okay. On so when you're light on here, it's green. Okay. The noise cancellation is on. It's green. Hang on a second. Let me get that on video on the camera. So basically, what's happening? Is you have a noise cancellation button on both of them. And the indicator. Both the transmitters. Yeah, no mic. The indicator is right above the one there. And Holly Land, if you watch this and you're looking for ambassadors, let us know. Yeah. Um, We'd be happy to try out some so, of your own, your own gear. No, so I'm going to turn it off. All right, so I turned it off. Now you turn it on. Okay. Just to confirm that either mic can turn it on. Okay. Okay, it did come on for you. I do see a red dot. I thought I had it on already. Let me look. Pull the microphone off the shirt. Got a blue light here. Yeah, I got a blue light. I've got okay. the green light now. All right, I got a green light too. So either one of us can turn it on on either mic. So it turns it on for both mics, we believe? It turns it on for both microphones. We believe. Mine went green as soon as you pushed it. Okay. Plus I saw it come up on the receiver. Okay, so, so it's that's a good thing to know. So it's a shared setting on the receiver. Interesting. All right, so let me repeat: uh, the wind button is on the side right there of the, of the microphone. Noise cancellation. Noise cancellation. Sorry, it's got a little wind signal, and then the indicator is right there on the receiver above the first mic. And either one of the mics get pressed turns both on for the green light. And as you can see from the video. We are not using the wind socks today. We've not used the wind socks at all, just so, set to right. put them on in the house to see how they fit. And that's and been it so far. They got, a mic, they got a magnet, which I just left mine on mine, and a clip. 
I use the flip. I prefer the flip. I feel safer. But if I turn, if I hit the, press this blue little button here, my light will go from blue to green. And noise cancellation is on. And you should see on the receiver. And show the record button on the other side where you can do the built-in audio recording. There's the button you can turn on the audio recording. When you press it, there's a little red light below it that shows you the internal audio recording is turned on. And then to get rid then to turn that, turn that audio off, there's a USB-C plug on the bottom of each transmitter. They do not appear to have any kind of chip in them, so it's probably just an internal chip. It, it is. It's like I said, it's supposed to be 14 hours of audio, which is great. And I've experimented with putting mine up on my kind of my collarbone. That's where mine is right now on yeah. my t-shirt under my hoodie. I don't want to put it down in the middle because it hits my necklace and makes noise. Hmm. All right. So I guess now we just ride and talk and talk over each other since we don't have a headset to know who's talking when. Oh, I know. That way we can practice with the video audio. Okay. My bike turned off. My bike turned off. <laughs> you sat there that long? I did. <laughs> Good grief. That's yet to have ever happened. I know. It's the first time. All right. We're powered back up again. That's okay. I coasted halfway. <laughs> you definitely yeah, get I really moving. Th I really think this Hollyland Lock Lock Max system is going to be a game changer for us for the motorcycles and the Jeeps and everything else, right? I think Even definitely on the motorcycles. motorcycles here. Definitely on the motorcycles. Yes. Because, like you said, I like the fact that on the motorcycles we can hear each other talking. We're not really talking over each other. Yeah, and trying to Bluetooth our headsets. We both have our Cardo system, uh, our Cardo Blacks Bluetooth to our motorcycles. Right. And to our phones. So in order to hook them up Bluetooth to something else, we'd have to drop one of those connections. Well, I don't have mine Bluetooth to my phone because it okay. won't let me do that with my, my bike. So... And we use the intercom on those a lot. It'd be great if we could have like a receiver that could pair into those. Right. That then you plug into the camera. I don't think that's possible. So yeah, having these mics and the little external lavalier mics that plug in to these mics, and then we'll clip that little microphone into our helmet on our booms for our cardos and just pick up the audio there. And that's what we were trying to do with those other cheap mics. Like I said, the problem with those cheap ones, they just don't have battery life. Well, even plugging a lavalier into a camera, the problem I had was this darn GoPro would never record the audio. Right. Because I did a solo ride and still have debated whether I'm going to put the video up and just do a voiceover, but I did a solo ride one day, like two hour ride each direction and had the lavalier plugged in and right. run up my jacket and clipped to my helmet mic. And so it was right in front of my, my face when I was talking inside my helmet, but there was absolutely no sound, not even wind. Wow. Recorded on the GoPro. So the mic, mic, well, like I said, and you see so many people on YouTube, right, that use the GoPros, and it's a common thing. They've lost the audio. The GoPro corrupted the audio on yeah. the, it. It's, it's like nobody really understands what's going on. And GoPro, if you find this, why don't you fix your audio re recording problems? There's just too many people having problems with that for you not to fix it. If you're the leading action camera, then maybe you get that fixed, right? Maybe that's well, what you need to do. Or make it a universal input instead of this. Uh, I read somewhere you had to have the three rings on the, on the microphone, um, the jack. So that's what I got was a, a wired mic with the three rings on it, plugged it in to my media pod, and it still doesn't work. And I got it to work one time, and I don't know what I did. I, I don't remember if I did anything special. But I did get it to work one time. It wasn't great audio, but it was audio. Well, and hook it up any way other than the media mod, you have to have something from GoPro to hook it up. Right. To keep you in their ecosystem. And I like the media mod. Don't get me wrong. I like the media mod. I think it makes the camera a little bit more secure. And it just makes, I don't know, I just like the way it mounts better with the no, media mod. I, I, I'm going to look into it. I see, I know we've got one at the house. Sony made action cameras too. I don't know if they still do or not, but that little action camera is absolutely great. And I don't know that I ever had audio problems with it either. You need Maybe, to try it with that Insta360. Yeah, we need to, and I don't think we have problems with it having audio issues. No, either. we haven't. We haven't. No, it's, we have not. But Insta360's recorded audio every time. 
even though it's three, four feet above your head, nine times out of ten, or, exactly. or behind you. So maybe that's what we do. Instead of recording audio to the GoPro, we end up recording it to something else that actually works all the time. But again, those cheap mics, you don't get range. Yeah. And trying to Bluetooth anything else to the headsets is, is a non-starter. Just because of the communications we have for navigation and everything else. Again, and the other, Bluetooth. Bluetooth. The other problem is the uh, GoPro batteries will do not last nowhere near as long as this mic is going to last. Right, and I think that's why those cheap mics don't work, is they're using low power, I think they're low power Bluetooth. And that would be the problem again with Bluetoothing our headsets to something to record to a single audio track would be the range from Bluetooth, right? Yeah. So all in all, Hollyland, I don't know what model this is, I guess we need to look it up. It's got a receiver on the, the uh, they're mounted to the GoPro. And I just realized, you're talking about the media mod. I'm looking at the media mod now, paying attention. And one of my concerns has been putting the media mod on top of the camera blocks the record battery on the GoPro. But voice works, right? Right. Oh, well, putting lo and receiver. behold, there's a side mount for the for the for camera, the receiver for the camera for the audio receiver. Yeah, so I could have put oh, yeah. it there, and I didn't even know that until just. Well, I just, will it fit though with the microphone sticking outside? Want to look? I at think that? it will. Want to see if it will fit? Yeah, let's try it. Ah, I'll take. Let's see if it works. Yeah, I had uh, not even paid that any yeah, attention. Yeah, I hadn't either, honestly. We both have those cameras and media mods. Just tricky getting off here. This is where you got to lock. A receiver or you'll get those microphones all messed up okay it won't fit will it, it may not fit let's try it the other direction i think that microphone sticks yeah, out too far yeah i think the medium on microphone sticking out too far hey, but it was worth a try hang on a second ah ah got it in there. i got it to work i had to actually open the clip a little bit on the receiver because it has the same clip as the microphones. Because it has the same clip have. as the microphones, and then I can get it on the side. And guess what? GoPro battery is now yellow. What is? The GoPro battery is now yellow. I've got We're I went from 84% to 20% in this little bit of a record. We're 15 minutes in, and the battery's already that low. Yeah. Wow. And that's again GoPro. If you're 19 minutes officially recorded. Comment below. Who else has issues with GoPro <laughs> battery life, right? It's well, just, the advantage to putting it here on the side of this media mod now. Makes it easier to get to the battery. It's going to make it a lot easier to take the GoPro battery in and out. But you still, still, you still, still have, have to, to take it off from the media mod, though. Yeah, I still yeah. have to take it off the media mod. So there's what I'm talking about. I got it on the side of the media mod. I've been mounting it up here, which made it hard to get to that, and I had to depend on the voice commands on the GoPro, which which is great because I can activate it 800 feet away. We yes, found. that we found we can do that, but that's <laughs> aggravating because if you accidentally say something you shouldn't, like you do with a lot of the uh, voice activated devices, like the evil hockey pucks and there other devices go. are available. So. <laughs> That works, putting it on the side, I like that because I can still get to the battery without having to take this all completely apart. I like that. I don't know why I hadn't seen that. Uh, <laughs> I had been. <laughs> it's like certain people not seeing whenever you leave a Tiger Paw on logos, right? <laughs> <laughs> and if you're watching, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Little hidden messages in my graphics, that's all. So yeah, all in all, again, that's, I guess, how's that camera feel right now? Is it warm? No. Okay, so this type of weather is probably better for it. Yeah. Because of the cool air. I know in the warmer weather they run real hot at times. Maybe the life expectancy, maybe we reduced the, I don't know what you got the video quality set to, right? Uh, activity. Huh? I, I don't have it on a high quality. I got the activity settings. Well, the uh, GoPro 360 is just as bad. Right. Its its battery just seems to just die. Do you have a USB-C cable with you hooked up to your external battery pack there? I do. That might be what you got to do now, too, is hook it up to the external battery. Yeah, I'll probably try to do that here in a minute. I'm looking for the deer. Yeah, they're usually over there in that field on the left. Not today. Well, that's the downfall, downfall to having the mount on the, the GoPro hard mounted like this, I can't turn it around. 
Probably need a second man, uh, second GoPro to catch that kind of video. Yeah, mine I've got sitting at the house collecting dust at the moment that I charged the other day. I need to get that out. I need to find, get the 360 camera out and get them both mounted again. I mean, on the motorcycles, you wouldn't be doing stuff like that, but. No. Oh, that limb finally broke. Oh, yeah, it's top, no, it's on a limb, it's top of the tree. Oh, it did, whole tree, yeah. See, it picked up my leaves there on the microphone. I bet it did. So I hit them in the grass.